Hi everyone. Uh, recently, a student was asked on how the load testing of accommodation ladders uh, on ships is carried out. So I thought I make this video today, uh, which will benefit you if you are going for your oral examinations. So before I get into the um, load testing, I'll just show you what an accommodation ladder is. Just in case you don't know the different parts of the accommodation ladder um, and the process of uh, the load testing as well all right so let's get started so every ship needs a means of uh, getting people on board safely so most vessels they have uh, two accommodation ladders one on the starboard side and one on the port side preferably where the ship side is flat now, normally you will find it the accommodation ladder is made of uh, lightweight aluminium that makes it easy to handle uh, as you can see the different parts of the accommodation ladder on your screen uh, the top of the accommodation ladder is attached to a platform with a slewing connection so that if necessary it can be turned away from the ship in case of a large gap between the ship and the jetty now i'll also show you a cross section a diagram of the accommodation ladder so you can see uh, from the side uh, what the each part of the accommodation ladder uh, looks like all right so as you can see here you can see the top platform which is number one then you can see uh, the steps of the accommodation ladder which is number two uh, number three is the bottom platform which is placed on the key or the jetty uh, then uh, number five is are the handrails which you hold while you're coming down the ladder number six are the stanchions that are provided to support the handrails and the strengthening as well then number seven is the synthetic rope uh, it's the safety net and number eight are the safety net ropes the safety net is provided in case uh, the accommodation ladder breaks down or somebody falls or somebody's uh, foot goes through the steps of the accommodation ladder so that is for their safety and uh, finally we have the stanchions as well so the handrails so these are the different parts of the accommodation ladder all right now um, on the jetty or on the key the accommodation ladder rests on a roller which is at the bottom of the stairs this roller allows the accommodation ladder to slide on the jetty as a result of changes in draft or movements of the ship you can see the same uh, diagram from the side now and uh, lowering and lifting of the accommodation ladder is done by a winch uh, compulsory safety measures include a safety net which you saw in the previous slide which is hanging under the gangway and also you have a life buoy placed at the gangway with the light so here you can see a cross section or rather not a cross section but a side wise a side view of the accommodation ladder and top view of the platform as well from which you come down the accommodation ladder then we have something called the gangway as well now many vessels have an aluminium gangway in addition to an accommodation ladder this gangway comes in use whenever the accommodation ladder cannot be used for some reason of a location or how the vessel was berthed against the jetty or uh, the jetty layout itself where it doesn't maybe the accommodation ladder will uh, hit against uh, the uh, bollards the mooring bollards which are there on the jetty because of this sometimes you may have to use the gangway now the gangway is put into the wanted position by either a crane or by using manpower uh, it's important that you understand the difference between gangway and the accommodation ladder because sometimes they are interchangeably used as the same terms you can go ahead and do that but i thought i'll show you both and the difference between each as well before i go into the load testing of the accommodation ladders now each accommodation ladder like any load bearing uh, instrument or equipment on the ship uh, has to be load tested and that was the question asked uh, to one of the students recently in the oral examination so let me show you how it is done now for the load testing of the accommodation ladder this is an example of how it is done you can see here how the load test is being carried out using water bags of 75 kilograms per step and now because uh, the accommodation ladder will have a certain uh, load capacity which may be mentioned in uh, a weight in kilograms or in tons or it may be mentioned by the number of persons of a certain weight that can be on the accommodation ladder at the same time so here what they have done they have taken a load a bag of water bag uh, it's a bag filled with water of 75 kilograms each 
similar bags are also used for a uh, live port uh, load testing as well i have made videos on that before or rather for grain load testing sometimes as well so these bags are used and they have uh, here they are 75 kilogram bags they are put on each step so each step is being load tested and uh, this uh, test uh, provides evidence that uh, uh, if there are people standing on this gangway each of them is on an average weight of 75 kilogram uh, these are the number of people who can stand on the gangway without the gangway breaking down so of course uh, this load test is carried out by short technicians normally this uh, not short technicians but short staff because on the ship normally we don't have these facilities available so you may get this done even during dry dock during intermediate uh, maintenance service in dry dock or before the ship is delivered it is definitely carried out a certificate is also issued in this regard and this certificate is kept in the chain register sometimes or sometimes it can be kept with the master so you will have this so any remember that any equipment any uh, device on the ship which is designed to take loads which is designed to bear loads uh, take weight whether it's human whether it's cargo whether it's stores it needs to go through the load testing and uh, the load testing procedure and a certificate needs to be issued because the gangway is a very important very integral part of the ship uh, it is not only used for boarding but sometimes if there is any accident if the gangway is not placed properly if it is not rigged properly if the safety net is not rigged properly there could be accidents your ship the master the company can be sued if your gangway is not rigged properly and a uh, shore personnel gets injured if surveyors are boarding the ship and they see that the gangway is not rigged properly the safety net is not rigged properly um, and it can cause accidents they can actually fine your ship they can delay your ship they can arrest your ship because this is a big safety concern often seafarers overlook uh, the importance of this uh, and they don't realize how important it is many of times i have seen a crew not knowing how to rig the safety net uh, they rig the safety net across the gangway they should rig one end to the ship's side and one end to the gangway of course or the accommodation ladder so that uh, if there is any accident uh, people can actually fall into the safety net and be safe prevent injuries all right so if you go on the ship next time make sure you take the gangway ladder and the and the accommodation ladder seriously the rigging or the rigging of the accommodation ladder should be monitored supervised check by a competent officer making sure that it provides safe access to people on board ships so that is all i have to say here in this video today i'll stop this video now please let me know through your feedback what you think of these videos whether i should continue making videos whether you like these videos or not whether it's beneficial for your learning uh, or i am wasting your time all right see you guys all the best with your studies bye for now